Let's see what I have left for 2019 anime. Kengen Ashura? Well, I guess I don't need to watch it. Wait a minute, this is the same author that made Dumbbell Girl? Whew, another one to the watch list. Oh my god, this is amazing! I actually can't believe these two totally different anime are in the same universe and have the same author. On one corner, we have Dumbbell Girl, simply an anime about a bunch of high schoolers who hit the gym and also attract audiences. <laughs> but I guess most viewers don't watch this anime to learn about exercise facts. Nobody really wants to watch this. <laughs> Most audiences come to watch this. And on the other corner, we have Kangen Ashura, a bunch of guys who, other than the eyeballs, are full of muscles. The plot revolves around wealthy business owners and merchants who hire gladiators to fight in unarmed combat, where the winner takes all. The main character, Tokito Oma, joins these arenas and aims to prove his strength compared to the other competitors. Some of them even remind me of One Piece and Dragon Ball. First up, let's talk about Dumbbell Girl. Its real name is How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift, but I'm just gonna call it Dumbbell Girl for the rest of the video. In Dumbbell Girl, the story is pretty simple. Just a girl who wants to lose weight and goes to the gym. It's a typical science anime that teaches you how to make your body stronger and your muscles more beautiful. Whether it's the art style or the 2D and 3D dimensions, I find it really hard to imagine that these two anime can coexist in the same world. That's until I found these easter eggs. In Dumbbell Girl, you can see in Ayaka's boxing gym, there is a picture of Gao Long who was in Kangan Ashura. Also at a Christmas party, the Russian girl cosplays as Gao Long. Later on, you could even see in a teaching video, this guy's enemy is Kiryu. We also learned that Akame's sister is Soryun. She's pretty much a board chairman woman of the Koyo Academy group, which is also the school in Dumbbell Girl. And in a special manga, Sakura and Oma do get out in an all-you-can-eat competition. Eventually, Oma has to use his advance to just barely tie with Sakura. And now I finally understand why some muscles in Dumbbell Girl are so exaggerated. But in Kengen Ashura, this is pretty much the standard. Okay, before I go on to the next part, let me change the record player's music. Although this anime is a 3D anime, when I watch it, I don't feel any weird or awkward movements. Instead, I actually feel that the 3D effect better displays the fighter's movements in combat. <laughs> Even though some martial arts skills are very exaggerated, some of them are based on real life martial arts. But other than this, let me introduce my favorite battle in this anime. This is the anime's most realistic fight, Okuba vs Fang. Okuba first uses fake moves and double leg takedown from a long distance, but he made a very important mistake. His head's position was too low and allows Fang to press down to prevent falling and gave him a knee to the face. Then, when Okuba went for a hook, Fang went to clinch his body. <laughs> but Fang also made a very particular mistake. He did not control his elbow, and as a result, Okuba did not ignore this chance and went for a counterattack. Then, this turned into ground fighting. Obviously, Okuba's ground fighting is way better than Fang's. He temporarily suppresses Fang and tries to use heel hook, but gave Fang space to straighten his feet before it was complete. Then, Fang kicked him away. Okuba tries to regain his dominance of ground fighting, so he extends his arm, but Fang did not waste his chance and went for a triangle choke. Before Okuba went on his body, Okuba prepares to escape, but Fang successfully uses Guess I Got to Make for a hold. But still, Okuba gained his advantage by bridging up. Holy crap. Fang closely guards himself then suddenly connects, then executes the Kimura lock. But according to logic, normally with a Kimura lock, it's pretty much GG. But Okuba somehow escaped this, and the anime changes scenes, so we never know how. The battle is reversed again. Okuba attempts to use guillotine choke, but fails. Then Fang regained the upper position through X guard. The next scenes are not very coherent. Okuba once again is on top and continues to pound Fang. But because Okuba was too forward when he was suppressing Fang, he lost his balance when Fang uses his bridge up and falls forward. Then Fang tells Okuba that his wrestling skills do not affect him at all. But Nani? Okuba uses wrestling skills as a fake move and then switches to boxing to hit Fang. Because Fang only focused on Okuba's wrestling skills, he did not expect Okuba's boxing skills and knocks him unconscious for a few seconds. And during these few seconds, Okuba constantly hounds Fang. Is Fang finally going to fall? Is a new black horse here? What? What? Fang stands up again with a creepy face. How is this possible? How is his defense so high? Then Fang sprints to Okuba and fakes with a left hand to make Okuba bend down and grab him by the waist. But Fang hits him with his right hand onto Okuba's vital point. Okuba has been knocked unconscious. So bloody, so But of 
course have to talk about some disadvantages of this anime, even though I like it so much, to prevent some audiences to be blinded by its epicness. I know the author wants to show that the weak can beat the strong in this anime, so he creates a character with a big brain, but his body status is not as strong as others. But by relying on his big brain, he can predict and beat others. But the way the anime expressed this is pretty exaggerated. This guy gets beat up so hard, does he not feel any pain? And it's like he has a 1 HP lock cheat. It's really hard to beat him up pretty much. If the opponent doesn't tell you how their battle style works, they won't lose. That's just how it goes. Anyways, if you like watching fighting anime, you should definitely add this to your watch list. And you should also read the manga by the way. The way the manga expressed the fighting scenes is very powerful, with every panel including a very nice split lens. But if you don't like the anime... <laughs> ガキ。ガキ。<笑> お前の子を見たい。え。うん。人目見て分かった。お前は強い。私はカルラ。お前は私の夫になれ。うん。いいね。金量も肉質もあの時よりはるかに。楽しみにしてな。変態野郎。殺し合うなら最高の舞台で求め合い奪い合い殺し合いそして君を失った絶望の中僕は yeah now do you want to watch it i know i do